guys welcome back or welcome if you're new so okay if you are familiar with me my channel how much I love color then I'm sure you're not surprised that I did go ahead and grab the new limited edition Natasha Denona circle local palette <laughs> so yeah I did go ahead and grab this as soon as it went on pre-sale and I did get mine in the mail a couple of days ago I think and so today I'm going to be playing with this beauty now the reason why I just really wanted to have this palette is because you know Natasha Denona she comes out with the more kind of neutral more natural toned palettes you know which the, her formula is amazing so I do love those palettes as well but I kind of feel like this is a palette that was created just for me for someone who loves her formula and wants to buy more of her eyeshadows but you know is not really along the kind of more neutral natural vibe so anywho I went ahead picked this up and I'm so excited about it because I know the formula is going to be bomb already not even worried about it but this is what the palette looks like gorgeous gorgeous colors and shades in here I will admit <laughs> the colors are kind of like all over the place it does just kind of look like a big splat of color in this palette so it can be a little bit intimidating for people who don't normally use a lot of color or aren't really that comfortable with coming up with different colorful eye looks so for someone like me this is just kind of like really getting my creative juices flowing and tingling so yeah I'm really excited to play with this what I want to do first is I want to go ahead jump in and do some swatches because I haven't even swatched or touched these shadows at all just to kind of get a feel for how they look and what I want to do because I have no idea what I want to do today you guys so let's get some swatches out of the way and then we can get into creating an eye look So these are all the swatches you guys from this palette I must say it is a very very pretty colorful palette the mattes of course extremely pigmented the shimmers really really gorgeous I feel like today the oranges and pinks are really really speaking to me this purple shimmer down here is gorgeous as well so yeah I think I might kind of do like a orangey pinky purpley look so let me clean off these swatches and then we can jump right in so I am going to go ahead and prep my lids with my P Louise base to get started just to kind of make sure everything is nice and even I'm trying to decide if I want to use tape or not for this look just to have a nice sharp line hmm Nah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wing it. If I want to clean it up with concealer, I'll do it that way. Okay, so I kind of feel like I want to do like a bit of a gradient, a cut crease with a gradient. And so I think I'm going to start with this purple shade here, which is Magic. And then I'm going to move into Joker. And on top of Joker, I'm going to go into this beautiful orange shade here, which is Firework. So yeah, I'm just going to work my way up. So right now, I'm just going to take a small, kind of like, ooh, that's pigmented, okay. <laughs> I'm just taking a small flat brush to kind of carve out the shape for this eye look. And I know it's going to look crazy at first, but just, just stay with me, just stay with me. This is the Circle Local palette, y'all, so I have free range to do whatever I want with this palette. <laughs> okay, so this is just kind of the basic shape that I want for my cut crease. Okay, so next I'm going into the matte pink shade, which is Joker. And I'm placing that, like, just on top of 
but somewhat slightly above the purple. And I'm taking my time with it because I don't want to go all the way up to my eyebrow. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want for the pink and purple. Now I'm going to go in with the orange, and that is fireworks. So I'm just going to put a little bit of orange on top of that pink. So I'm placing it basically on top of the pink and blending it in so you can see it just above that pink. And this shade is really pigmented. <laughs> that is very pigmented. And now I'm just taking a clean brush just to kind of fade out the edge of that orange shade up towards my brow. Okay, so since I already have my, you know, basic cut crease shape, pretty neat, pretty even I think, even enough. <laughs> I want to just go in with some of these shimmers because I know these shimmers are super pigmented and super nice. I want to go ahead and start out with this shade here, which is Canon. So I'm just going to take a flat brush and pick up some of that, spray it, and apply it to the first part of my cut crease. So now I'm just taking the shade Canon, which is that gorgeous orange shimmer, and taking a flat brush and just applying that to the inner portion of this cut crease look. Trying to be as neat as possible. Okay, so now that I have that orange down, I'm gonna go into Razzle Dazzle, which is this beautiful like magenta type shimmer. I'm just curious to see how this lays down without any you know, spray, or without wetting my brush, I should say. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my brush. So now I have to decide, do I wanna go purple? Or do I want to go blue? I think I'm going to go purple on the outer portion and then we'll do blue on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this shade right here. Act. Is that blue? It, you know what? It kind of looks like a blurple to me. Maybe that is blue, but it's kind of looking like a blue purple to me. So I decided to go ahead and leave a bit of a negative space in there just to add a little bit of extra drama to this look. <laughs> I think my favorite part of doing my eyes is blending shimmers together. I love when shimmers just create a nice beautiful gradient when they just blend perfectly together. I love that. So these colors I feel like are just giving me all the feels because they are blending very nicely together. The pink, the purple, the orange is a working out, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is finish up my face, clean this up a bit, and then we'll come back and put some of the blues and greens on the lower lash line. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and finished my face, basically dipped my head in blush, and we're back. <laughs> I have on my lashes. Now for eyeliner today, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my cream gel liners from ColourPop. Some of these work out nice, some of them don't. I think this is one of the ones that works out a little bit better. So I'm gonna go in with this. Yeah, this one is pretty creamy. Some of their other ones seem a bit more dry and harder to use, but this one is pretty creamy pretty pigmented 
and I'll list everything that I'm using for the rest of my face eyeliner and all that stuff in the description box just in case you're curious I'm so tempted to leave my eyes like this and not go in with any of the blue shimmers but I really want to try them out so yeah we're gonna go for it I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here and place a bit of that on my lower lash line and I'm going to spray so I don't get a lot of fallout oh that color is so pretty I really like that color Ooh, that's pretty <laughs> I love it yeah, if you're not really into color, this palette is definitely not for you. <laughs> okay, so let's brighten things up a bit in that inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade here, which is Snow Cone. Kind of like a light blue, shimmery type icy shade. And just pop a bit of that in my inner corner. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I was not trying to do all of that hello okay okay you guys I was just looking for a nice little subtle pop right there I wasn't ready I wasn't ready but at least you can see just how bright that shadow is okay very bright I don't even know if I can tone this down it's gorgeous woke that eye right on up <laughs> and that was without spraying my brush now I'm gonna put a little mascara on my lower lash line just so I can try and <laughs> bring this eye together So this is it you guys, the final eye look that I created using this new Natasha Denona Circle Loco <laughs> eyeshadow palette. I like it. I think the packaging is super cute. I love the whole kind of like circus clown type theme. It also gives me like that argyle type feel, but I think that this palette really says circus to me. It just does. But I feel like, you know, if you like to play around with color, you can do one co one color or one shade eye looks that aren't as wild and crazy as this. Or you can get a little aggressive and fun and just kind of play. I know this palette isn't for everyone, especially not if you're one who typically likes Natasha Denona palettes because this is very different, very bold and colorful. I love it. I think it's great to have such a really nice formula to work with combined with a beautiful colorful color story that I love and that I can just have fun with so I'm very very happy that I purchased this palette I do wish that it would have been one of the $65 palettes as opposed to the $129 palette but you know what are you gonna do either you want it or you don't so yeah that's it you guys I like it I had a lot of fun creating this look with you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you like the look that I created let me know your thoughts on this palette if you ordered it if you're planning on getting it if you're still on the fence or if you're like uh no I don't want it okay let's talk about it down in the comment section below but that's it you guys thanks so much for watching I hope you had a good time and I'll see you on the next video toodles